Hi, Hike and Jim here. Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Stoving, where we just do the most cutting edge stuff you can possibly imagine. And here uh, is the most exciting video you can possibly imagine. We're going to burn butane. Yep. Uh, and actually, we are going to burn butane, 100% butane. Uh, these tanks are tanks I've refilled myself with 100% butane. On the left is a Monotac Nat, on the right is a Soto Micro Regular. Both good stoves, uh, both have good features, I can recommend them both to you. Um, the trick here is, or the, the issue is, that uh, the stove on the left is a conventional needle valve, the stove on the right has a micro regulator valve. Uh, a micro regulator can be thought of as cruise control for your stove. And so what the regulator valve does is when you set the uh, flow of gas, uh, the regulator acts to keep that flow constant. So if uh, there's a drop in canister pressure, the internals of that microregular valve can open up a little bit and allow more pressure through if there's more pressure in the tank. If there's no more pressure in the tank, then that's it. Then the microregulator can't do anything more than any other valve. Uh, the needle valve is a physical adjustment. The needle valve, you set the physical uh, aperture uh, to a certain position via this uh, lever here, this uh, uh, valve uh, control arm and uh, uh, once it's set that's where it goes and if the pressure drops then the flame diminishes. So what you'll often see with a stove is after you turn it on it'll uh, the, pre the flame size will die down a little bit because the tank gets cold uh, as you use it and as the tank gets cold the pressure drops. As the pressure drops then you've uh, uh, got a little bit less uh, flame coming out. So. Um, what I'm going to try to demonstrate here is I'm going to turn both stoves on. I'm going to uh, hopefully we'll see a uh, diminishment in the flame on the stove on the left and the stove on the right will hopefully uh, stay constant. It's about 55 degrees now, out right now, uh, moderate wind, and um, both the tanks have 100% butane in them. Butane has a boiling point of 30 degrees at sea level, so at 55 we're approximately 20 degrees at least above uh, the boiling point of the uh, fuel. Uh, right now I'm standing at about 2,500 feet of elevation, so you can deduct another five degrees from the boiling point. Uh, in other words, the boiling point lowers by five degrees by virtue of my being up here at 2,500 feet. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, again, I'm Hike and Jim. This is Adventures in Stoving. Uh, my blog is adventuresinstoving.blogspot.com. Now, these are obviously not the same stove. Opening the valve on one versus opening the valve on another is, uh, you know, it's hard to say have I got the same flow of gas in both stoves. Uh, the burner heads are different, uh, so if the same amount of uh, fuel is coming out of both burner heads, the flame sizes might be completely different, it might not look the same. It's also, it's daylight, so it may be a little bit hard to tell even with my beautiful black backdrop, which is a ridge rest pad set up on top of uh, this uh, uh, picnic bench. So anyway, I can see in the monitor the two flames. Uh, I can see a little bit that the flames extend up above the uh, really bright blue area at the immediate uh, vicinity of the burner head. Let's see if we can see any diminishment in the flame. We may not be able to see anything. Well, let's see. Uh, I started it, uh, I think I started it at three minutes. It's now four minutes, so I think we're a minute into the burn. Let's run it for maybe 10 minutes or something here. Let's see what we can observe, if we can observe it.
All right, here we are. Uh, I can Jim here with Adventures in Stoving, watching butane burn, which is probably about as an exciting an activity as you could imagine. Uh, my agent's constantly calling me, wanting me to go work in Hollywood, because, uh, you know, cinematography like this, you don't see this every day. Uh, anyway, so, um, all right. Anyway, uh, so we're watching butane burn. There's a reason for the burn. What we're doing here is we're just gonna see if the flame fades out a little bit on the monotac net, which does not have a regulator inside of its valve. On the right, uh, the, um, Soto micro regulator stove, the OD1R stove on the right, uh, you know, the, it should be able to keep its flame constant. Uh, there should be enough pressure in the tank uh, that um, as the flame, uh, as the pressure diminishes a little bit, the regulator valve can open up a little bit more and keep the pressure constant. We're using butane, it's uh, 55 degrees out ambient temperature. Uh, we're at 50, 2500 degrees. So normally butane, uh, the boiling point's about 31 Fahrenheit. Here you're gonna reduce that by five. Uh, so if you do that, so you're now you're at about, what, 26 degrees, something like that. Um, so, um, you know, if we're at uh, about 55 and the boiling point is 26, we're, you know, a good 25 degrees or so Fahrenheit. That's uh, like 12 or 13 Celsius degrees above the boiling point. So it's enough that when uh, we get canister chilling, and you will get canister chilling anytime you run a stove, the canister's gonna get cold. So if we have some canister chilling going on, we should see uh, the, the, uh, enough canister chilling where it's gonna affect the canister, the internal pressure of the canister, and diminish it. And so whatever setting we put that stove on at first, uh, the pressure will die a little bit, die down a little bit inside that canister, and we should see a reduction in flame size. Now, from what I am seeing right now, and uh, the flame's been going for a while, the Monotac Nats flame looks smaller to me than what started. And I'll review the video after I'm done with this and, uh, you know, and take a look. The uh, stove on the right, the micro-regulator, seems to have a more constant flame, although its flame looks like it's uh, diminished a little bit as well. I think both flames have diminished some. Uh, so we're close enough to the um, boiling point of the fuel uh, as, 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 with an extended burn like this where uh, the pressure inside is going to be affected to the degree that it's really going to uh, show up in the size of the flame. Uh, the internal reg internals of the regulator can open up a little bit. Uh, the monotype nat is a fixed needle valve wherever I turn this lever. Uh, that's where it's going to stay, and so uh, it will not compensate for any loss of pressure. But again, the uh, uh, micro-regulator on the right, the micro-regulator here, uh, it can't increase the pressure beyond what's available in that tank. So uh, both stoves have a, a hard limit of being only able to let pressure out of the canister that when there is pressure. Well, anyway, I, I'm going to, well, we'll review the, the, the video afterwards, but I'm going to turn it off at this point, um, and we'll, we'll see what the results are when I get back and can view the whole video, but hopefully we've shown that the uh, micro-regulator can do some things to compensate for loss of pressure, whereas a, a conventional needle valve really cannot. All right, I'm Hike and Jim. This is another uh, episode in Adventures in Stoving. Uh, come on out to adventuresinstoving.blogspot.com, which is my blog, where uh, this is rather esoteric, but I have a lot of practical stuff on that blog about backpacking stoves. Here, I'm just kind of curious about the actual advantages or, or disadvantages of various types of valves. And so this may not be on everybody's uh, high priority list, but I'm just doing some experiments here. But there's a lot of good practical stuff on how to do backpacking with uh, stoves and what those stoves uh, will do for you out on the blog. Okay? I'm Hike and Jim. Thanks for joining. Bye bye now.